What would you do? I mean, look at him. Not, not even a turkey sandwich. Like, one of those dry turkey sandwiches. He didn't have the thing around his neck the whole time. It came back to him. Yeah. That's the kind of thing then it is. Then he throw it away, and it comes back. Like, watch this, watch this. Take this. It came back. Look at you didn't even do anything I with took, it. I took it. I gave it away and it came back. That's you just lifted it above chin level. That's all you did. It's a demonstration. Well, it's that doesn't degree from the point that I would trade your life for a turkey sandwich. I got this, bro. I got this. He wanted to be a man. Full story, bro. You're supposed to use that other people, not me. Take nose? Get out of here. Give him a mic. Thank you. No, he was thinking about that. Either way, but no, that's what pretty much led to the, the mystery child, which we believe for a while was what uh, Femto used to be rebirthed. But it, it, it's kind of looking more like more like in the the Dan DeVito Schwarzenegger movie Twins, where it's kind of all that crap left over. That's kind of the stuff that uh, Guts Jr., the little embryo baby thing, used to uh, get that four muses and four moons to. Uh, that's a really good analogy. Yeah, like the little baby from the beach that. Casca's like all motherly instincts somehow and uh, looks over at Guts like he acknowledges him somehow. Which I don't know, any normal little kid like that is not going to look at Guts. Huh. Seriously, they're going to yeah. look away. They're going to be like, that's a boogeyman. <laughs> boogeyman, my wife? Yes, that's a boogeyman. You stay away from him. He has a dog hood. You stay away from the dog hood. He's got a tattoo right here. He has a pretty pigeon tattoo. I know, I want one. Just not the brand to go along with it. That would be a bad Yeah, job. I don't want Demon's dog to be in Sacrifice, cool. Sacrifice is surviving. That's... It's not normal. You you're not existing in the same. Pl- All of us are in the lower plane. Lower plane. Woo! Woo yeah, that's Woo, cool. Plane. That's where you get to sleep. You don't have ghosts coming after Prime you. Material. You don't have things trying to possess you and make you rape your retarded girlfriend. She was not retarded. She, she was only mute. Just mute. She. It's not the right word. Just she's she's out of it, man. She's gone. She's A mute female friend. She's not just mute. She goes. Ah, oh, hey, Apple. Still mute. <laughs> Until they find the island. Until they find, if they ever find the goddamn island, they're just gonna keep going around. There's gonna be like 13 misadventures along the way, and then they're gonna get there, and then it's gonna be. I'll play that goddamn Dreamcast game until I get to that island. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a PS2 version. Damn it! It's a PS2 version. I was always one of the Dreamcast one, man. <laughs> Get to the end, Costa has a little bit of memory for like five seconds, and they're just kind of like, fuck you! Yeah, fuck you! Hey, hey! You're a fan of the series, not just a random player? Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck you. What would you ask in that five seconds that Costa has her memory back? When will the Skull Knight actually say something useful and not encrypted? <laughs> oh, or miss when it counts. Where did you put the half and half? <laughs> That's what I would ask. <laughs> he does like the blue stuff a lot, doesn't he? I can't drink coffee straight. I would have to ask where the half. I mean, half. when you have the power to travel between the the laws of casualty, kind of like dimensional travel with your magical throw of alphalite sword. I mean, you can go wherever. I mean, I wouldn't be able to remember where I left half my stuff. <laughs> you couldn't even lift God's sword. <laughs> I could, I, I, I couldn't lift it. I could probably drag it around a little bit. Yeah, you could. Look at those noodle arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. So that big towering motherfucker with his gun arm, magnet hand, sword with magical properties. Wait, gun arm, magnet hand? He's like Mega Man. <laughs> Mega Man 3. All right, yeah, totally. And he could give Superman a run for his money, technically. Right, Joe? Magical no. magical item awesome. against it. See? No. Yeah. We could get some magic. Look at that. Take that, Superman, you motherfucker. <laughs> and Mega Man? And Mega Man. And Mega Man. And Mega Man. And Mega Man. Oh, Batman. Batman can do whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah. <laughs> Batman's got money. <laughs> I don't. What do you what do you mean against my coffee? Yeah. I don't like your coffee. He doesn't like my coffee. <laughs> hey, I'm in the back. Yeah, what's your take on Zod as far as like his neutrality or his does he have an allegiance or is he just kind of a badass and doesn't want? He's pretty much been put in his place by Griffith when he was reborn and pretty much knows that that's the stronger guy that I have to follow because he is technically an apostle, but he is the apostle. He is like Ganeska thinks he is, but Zod is really all that. But relation to like guts. 
Like, we were talking about that back here. Like, do you think he likes guts or is it just like something? Oh, he fucking like hates guts, but it's respect. It's like a yeah, respectful yeah, hate. It's yeah, like, you know, guts. yeah, nobody's going to kill him but Zod. You know, if somebody's disemboweling guts, he's going to be like, no, you stuff those organs back in him. <laughs> you stand him up and he fights me. <laughs> and that's the Zod we all know and love. Yeah.